Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the John chapter 10, verse 1 to 18. Book of John chapter 10, verse 1 to 18. I tell you the truth, the man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is thief, a robber. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him, because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him, because they do not recognize a stranger voice. Jesus used this finger of a speech, sorry, this figure of his speech, but they did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who ever come before me who were thieves or lovers, but the sheep uh, did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find the pastor. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The higher man, as a higher hand, is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf come, Coming, he abandons and sheep and run away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters. The man runs away because he is a higher hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one <coughs> shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command <coughs> I received from my father. This morning, I would like to share with you, Jesus is the Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd. Our church's name is London Shepherd Church. Jesus is, uh, you know, Good Shepherd. He's a senior, senior pastor in our church. I'm just his assistant. We call him. Um, Jesus is the good shepherd. According to the scripture, verse 1, yeah, you know, sheep must enter the gate. Yeah? Enter the sheep pen by the gate. Only one gate. There's no other gate. Only one <coughs> gate. Yeah? Only one gate. His name is Jesus Christ. You cannot save him by any other name. Only one way. Through Jesus, you can have eternal life. Through Jesus, you can go to heaven. Don't believe that, known by any other name. Only one name. Verse 2, do you know, Jesus say, He is the one shepherd of sheep. Yeah. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. Jesus is the shepherd of his the, the sheep. Yeah. Jesus, no other man. Only Jesus, only Jesus. Verse 3 and 4, Do you know sheep? Listen to, listen to what? Listen to shepherd. And they know each other. This is very, very interesting. You know, sheep, do, do you know that sheep's eyesight is not very good? Maximum sheep, they can see the only 4 meters. Can you imagine? Sheep only see the only 4 meters. And after 4 meters, they can't see. Therefore, sheep, you know, Bible never say, my sheep knows me by their eyes. No. My sheep knows me through my voice. 
They recognize my voice, what Jesus said. Yeah? Verse 4, you know, uh, verse 3 says, Sheep listen to his voice, shepherd's voice. And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. You know, even they know the names. He knows your name. Do you know that? He knows your name. You know, sheep is a is a so simple animal and then so pure and so innocent and then so foolish. Why? Because of sheep they don't they don't know how to go. They don't know where to go. They don't know you know sheep must need a shepherd. Many years ago I saw the news on in I think in New Zealand the shepherd is, was not in there, but the the old sheep stay in the uh, you know the in in the in the, in the farm, but the farm on on the end of the farm there's edge to the to the seaside, and then some a few sheep, three four sheep just learn learn, and then do you know how many sheep? I over five hundred the sheep follow the, this. Uh, you know, you know, old one and big one, and then over five hundred sheep, they fly. <laughs> they just look like suicide, and they died. Over five hundred. Can you imagine? Some of the sheep just learn to the cliff, and every sheep learn together, and then they died. Over five hundred sheep died. Why? Wow. Because of, without the sheep, they don't know. They need a shepherd. They need a shepherd. You know. Verse 5, uh, sheep knows the, his voice, shepherd's voice. And then if they, if the, they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger voice. You see? They know only voice of a shepherd. But when they hear the stranger's voice, they don't follow a stranger and just run away. Thanks be to God. Unfortunately, somebody who are not meet Jesus properly, who, who are not listen to voice of Jesus properly, they are confusing. They listen to stranger voice and then follow that. Do you understand? We call the, you know, they follow and then some strange doctrine like the, you know, Mormons, like the Jehovah's Witnesses, and like the Seven Days Advantage, Advantage Church. This kind of things, they follow the, some strange voice. And you shouldn't do it. Do you understand? And then verse 6, people, they don't recognize. They don't understand. And then they don't understand. And Jesus say again, because they don't understand. And he was telling them again. You know, if you look at the John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. And they follow me. Jesus say, they listen to my voice. I know them. They follow me. Yeah. And then people they don't understand. Jesus say again, Jesus is the gate for the sheep also. He say, you must enter the sheep pen by gate. But he say, verse 7, yeah, I am the gate for the sheep. <laughs> Can you imagine? I am the gate. In the beginning, he said to the people, you must enter the sheep pen by the gate. And he said, you know, I am the shepherd of sheep. And then he speak more, verse 7, I am the gate for the sheep. You see, there is no more gate, only one gate to enter heaven. His name is Jesus Christ. God never give us any other name. Can I show you uh, Acts chapter 4, verse uh, 12, say, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. God never give us any other name to be saved. Only one name, only one gate. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way and truth and life. No one go to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus you can enter the heaven. One pastor, he was uh, preaching in the open air service in India. As you know, India, there's five million you know, idols, five million gods. 
So how many Hindu got? And then this pastor preached the gospel, and after preached the gospel, people gave their life to Jesus. But he, I'm sorry, before he gave their life to Jesus, he asked the people, "Are you gonna pray for healing?" And you know, so many people they have sickness, they come, hundred thousand people come to the uh, stage, and he prayed for healing. Do you know how he pray? In the name of Allah, be healed. He used the name name of Allah. Can you imagine? Nothing happened. In the name of Buddha, be here. Nothing happened. He used the many names of the Guru's name, in the Hindu Guru's, Guru's name in that area. Using all the names, nothing happened. And finally, he using the, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, be here. People is the healing. And then, <laughs> the, he Nekonai, he speak to all the people. There is no other name to be here, to be saved. To do something, only one name. His name is Jesus Christ, and the people they saw the miracles, signs, and wonders through the name of Jesus. Hundred thousand people gave their life to Jesus. There is no other name to be saved. Only one name. Jesus said, "I am the gate. I am the gate for the sheep." Verse eight. Do you know them? The thief and robbers, the other Satan. Yeah. Do you know? Jesus said, verse eight. All who over, all who ever come before me were thieves and lovers, but sheep did not listen to them. Yeah, sheep did not listen to them. Do you understand? If you're a true child of God, you don't need to listen to Satan. Do you understand? There are three kind of voice in this world: voice of Satan, voice of you, and voice of God. Do you understand? Actually, voice of you is even belong to the Satan's voice. Therefore, we have the two voices in this world, voice of Satan and voice of God. We have to listen to the voice of God all the times, continually. Therefore, we need to read the Bible. If you don't read the Bible, if you don't understand the word of God, you never understand the voice of God. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus daily, yeah, you never know. Yeah, you know... We used to have 130 members in in Brixton area. Uh, we used to have uh, 25 nationalities, and then we used in the school assembly hall. When I finished the uh, uh, preaching and uh, after the service, and the uh, whole congregation they chat to each other. I had the experience. I was in the front and uh, the stage area, and my wife is uh, sit uh, stand on the back door in that area. They, my wife talked to somebody. I talked to somebody. Can you imagine over hundred people they chat to each other? I heard the voice of my wife. Do you understand? I was in the I don't know over thirty, forty meters, thirty meters the distant, but I can hear the voice of my wife. I was very interesting. How I, I how I hear the, my wife's voice. Do you know why? Because we live together, we eating together. We do you know she's my wife. I can hear her voice very clearly. Why? Because. Because we have a relationship. Do you understand? If you have a relationship with the Jesus daily, you can hear the voice of God easily. Jesus said, my sheep knows my voice. Also, I know my sheep's voice. We know each other's. Jesus said, verse 9, he said, I am the gate. Again, he said, I am the gate. He said, I am the gate. And no other gate, only one gate to go to heaven. Jesus Christ. No other name. Only one name. To be saved. Only his name is Jesus. And verse 10 is very famous. Thief comes, steal, kill, destroy. Yeah, this is the plan of Satan. But Jesus came to us, gave us life abundantly. You see? Thanks be to God. Son of God came to this world to destroy the plan of Satan. What is the plan of Satan? Steal, kill, destroy. Yeah? Satan tried to steal your joy, steal your peace. Yeah? Satan tried to steal your faith, steal you, your everything. Satan tried to kill your spiritual life, even physical life. Yeah? Satan tried to destroy your life. I know that. Do you know? Satan is a destroyer. But what should we do? We need to destroy the destroyer. Do you understand? <laughs> By the name of Jesus. Yeah? Verse 11, Jesus said about the good shepherd. Do you know? He said, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Jesus is a good shepherd. 
<coughs> good shepherd, he explained about the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Can you imagine Jesus died on the cross for your sins and my sins? He's a good shepherd. Thanks be to God. Jesus is the good shepherd. And then he gave his life. He lays down his life for you and me. It's so important. And then I am a pastor in the church. Lord, is my my prayer every morning. I pray for all the congregation. Then I pray for you know my friend and family. This morning I'm gonna pray for Jimmy. I know. I met uh, Jimmy's sister uh, last night. You know, I pray for all these brothers sisters. I pray and then give them grace and your mercy. I pray to God for protection. I pray to God, Lord, give them faith in Jesus' name. I pray to God they live by faith, not by sight. I pray to God, Lord, destroy all the plan of Satan in their life. God can do it. He can do it. He said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He is the good shepherd. But verse 12 and 13, you can see there is another uh, hired hand. Hired hand is no good shepherd at all. And do you know what the Bible says, verse 12 and 13, the hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and run away. The wolf attacks the flock and then scatters. The you know, wolf is Satan. Satan come and still kill, destroy. We know that. Yeah? But the hired man is run away. Verse 13, the man learns away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. You see? Nothing. He doesn't care. Just run away. Do you understand? Why? Because he's, the, the sheep is not his. Do you understand? And then there's no true shepherd at all. When, J, uh, when David, yeah, what David said, the Lord is my shepherd. When David recognized that God is his shepherd, he was a good shepherd, this man, uh, David. Why? When the lion come, when the bear come, what he did? He had a high risk to depend on his sheep. And then, do you know, lion is a very dangerous animal, bear as well. But what David did, he killed the lion. He killed the bear. Even, do you know, his life is so risk. He protected his sheep. And then save the sheep. The one day he saw the, the Goliath. Goliath is a kind of wolf, kind of a lion and then bear. And what David did, and he killed. Do you understand? He used to the he used to be a he used to be a shepherd for the animal, but he killed the Goliath. Why? He loves the, his own people, people of Israel. And then one day when he was thirty, he became a king of Israel. He looked at the people. Do you understand? In the beginning, he looked at the animals. God saw his heart. Can you go to Psalm 23? Psalm 23 is the most famous the chapter uh, in the Bible. Most of you know, Christians love it, but even non-Christians love the Psalm 27. David and God, his relationship like this. Because he used to be shepherd. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. David said, I myself be shepherd. I almost died for my, my sheep. But Jesus, uh, the, the, David said, the Lord is my sheep. I shall not be want. Do you understand? That is his uh, faith, his confession of his faith. The Lord is my sheep. Full stop. If you recognize that the Lord is your shepherd, if you understand the heart of a shepherd, look, he said, he makes me lay down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. You know, shepherd knows where is the water, where is the green grass. The other side, sheep does not, but shepherd knows. And he say, he will make me lay, lay down in green grass. And then he leads me beside quiet water. And he restore my soul. God is the one to restore my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. For his namesake, he restore my soul. 
Do you understand? Not for me, not by myself, for his namesake, for his glory, because he is a shepherd. Yeah? If a sheep is damaged and then, then, then wound, uh, injured, it's a damage of the shepherd's name. That's right. For his namesake, you see, for his namesake, sake, because he's my shepherd. And he will guide me in the path of righteousness. Even through I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, so dangerous area. He said, I will fear no evil. Why? For you are with me. Shepherd with me, you see. My Lord is my shepherd. Shepherd in, in Hebrew, Lohi. God is Lohi. Jehovah Lohi, which means he is my shepherd. I fear no evil, for you are with me. You are my shepherd. Your Lord and your staff. Do you know the difference? Lord and staff. Two, two sticks. Do you understand? Lord is uh, to offensive effort to, you know, beat the enemy. The staff is uh, guiding, guiding, a little bit longer guiding. And then they comfort me. I know. My Lord and my Savior. God is my shepherd. He will comfort me. And God, you, you're my, my shepherd. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Can you see between David and God's relationship? David said, actually God say about David, David, he is a man after God's heart. Man after God's heart means David's heart and God's heart is equal, same. Do you understand? David, he recognized that God is his shepherd. And then verse 6, Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. You're not looking for goodness and then the love. No. Goodness and love follow you. You see, David said, Goodness, surely, surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What does it mean? I dwell in the house of the Lord forever, which means he dwell in the presence of God. Presence of his shepherd. The David he knows that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be want. I, I believe that if you recognize that God is your shepherd right now, he will look after you. He knows what you need. Yeah. David, he recognized that God is my shepherd. Do you know Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Good shepherd uh, yeah, lays down his life for the sheep. David, he knew, God is my shepherd. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be warned. That is wonderful. Verse 14 and 15 again, was, uh, John chapter 10. I am the good shepherd. He speaks again and again. I am the good shepherd. Do you know, if you see when Jesus speaks again and again, repeat again and again, yeah, that's very important. He said, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep knows me. Yeah, Jesus says, the Father knows me, and I know the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. Yeah, you know that his voice, the so sweet voice from God. Yeah, do you know that his voice? Yeah, do you know the voice of, voice of uh, Jesus, voice of your shepherd, Jesus? Yeah, it's very important to know his voice. Thanks be to God. Yeah, good shepherd lays down his life for us. And 16, 16 is a very interesting scripture. He say about the good shepherd, and he's, he look like changing some different topic, but not. Look, I have all the sheep. Can you imagine? Only he say in the beginning from verse 1 to 15 about his sheep. His sheep is inside the sheep pen. But he said, I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen, you see, outside of sheep pen. What did he, he say? I must bring them also. Some sheep is outside of the sheep pen. You see, it's not belong to Jesus, yeah? But what he did, what Jesus wanted to do, I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice. And they shall be one flock and one shepherd. His name is Jesus Christ. What does it mean evangelism? Do you understand? Some people, they don't know Jesus. And he say, I must bring them in, in the sheep pen. 
Do you understand? Somebody who non who does not uh, Jesus, and Jesus want to bring them and make it a warm flock, flockable Jesus, and one shepherd. His name is Jesus. Jesus want to be a one uh, a good shepherd for everybody actually, everybody. But he say, you must do something. You see, he focus on evangelism. Jesus is one shepherd. Unfortunately, many many people they they follow the some strange things, follow the world, follow the money, follow the fame, follow the some strange things. Jesus say, yeah, I want to, I must. He say, I must, um, I must bring them also. Bring them also into Japan. And he encourages us. You should do it. Jesus is a good shepherd. He want to. He must bring some the sheep from outside of Japan, and make them one flock, which is the children of God. Yeah, verse seventeen and eighteen about the crucifixion and resurrection. He say, the reason my father loves me. You know, I know God loves me. The reason, yeah, my father loves me. Why? That I lay down my life only to take it up again. I die for the sheep and then I'll take it up again. I will lay up from the dead. He's speaking about the crucifixion and the resurrection. Yeah, he has got the power and authority to have a crucifixion. He's, he, he, he does willingly. No one take it from me, but I lay down of my own accord. I have authority to lay down and authority to take up again. This command I received from my father, you see. For crucifixion, commanded from my father. Resurrection, commanded from my father as well. Yeah? Therefore, you need to examine about uh, uh, your life. Did you recognize Jesus, your Lord, your, your, your shepherd? The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah? My father uh, was a farmer. Now he's in heaven. You know, I know what does it mean of a shepherd. You know, we look at the, the sheep. I still remember I was uh, I was uh, 12 or 13 teenager boys. You know, in the lunch time, I go to the farm and then I look after the cows and the goat at the time. But you know, one of the lunch time, when I went to the, our farm, I was shocked. Why? Because our neighbor's, uh, neighbor's dog, the shepherd dog, is so big. Big one came to our farm, then killed uh, our goat. <clears throat> I still remember how many goat killed. Fifty-four, fifty-four goat killed. <clears throat> when I arrived at our, our farm, I heard I, I can sh I can catch the smell of blood. And uh, when I arrived, already our neighbor's uh, shepherd killed uh, fifty-four. <coughs> the, our goat. Oh. You know, I was not born again at the time. I was a young boy, and then I took the, some 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 stick, <coughs> and then you know, I saw the bleeding flow on the floor, in the you know with the on, on the grass, and then some of us baby baby the god is uh, still little bit moving their legs fell on the floor. I was angry. You know what? What was happening in my heart? I can I look like I spoke to myself. I gonna kill this shepherd today. The uh, uh, the shepherd dog. The German dog. It's a big one. <clears throat> when I just come close, to this dog dog come close to me. It's within two meters. And then do you know what was happening? The dog's eyes and my eyes look at each other's. I have I had the confidence to kill this dog, but when dog come close to close to me, and I had the one one stick, and then I can kill. But dog is more if a dog is stand like this over two meters, so big one. But I'm so short, a small, small boy. And then when come close to each other, and this dog run away, and then I'm looking for this dog and I try to kill, but uh, it's run away. And I went to the neighbor's uh, the farm and I shouting. I spoke to the people. I saw some servant. 
You know, at the time we have the serpent in there who are working in the farm, I shouting them, your dog is killed our 54, uh, the goat. And then, you know, many, many years later, I become a born again Christian. I realized that God made us uh, in his image. And if a dog and myself are fighting, I did dog maybe kill me on that day. But, uh, and then, you know, when God made a human being, God commanded a human being, you can dominate it, you can rule over it. And I realized that even I was not born again, when my eyes and the dog's eyes, uh, you know, to look at each other's, you know, dog, look at my eyes and then run away. Can you imagine? Human's eyes is more powerful than any other animal's eyes, even I was not born again. And uh, many years later, I realized that. But I knew my beautiful God, baby God, God is so beautiful, so cute. But the uh, uh, neighbor dogs killed our 54 God. On that day, uh, I after I became born a Christian, I never knew. Davy, he was a shepherd. Davy, he protected his uh, sheep and then and then kill the lion and bear. I fully understand how much he, he is willing to protect his, his own, own sheep. He was shepherd. And he said, the Lord God, God of Israel is my shepherd, which means I know the heart of shepherd, but God is my shepherd. And then, yes, I encourage you today, please recognize that Jesus, your Lord and your shepherd, your shepherd will lead you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be want. He will guide me and lead me into green grass and then um, beside the quiet water. And then he restore my soul because of his namesake, not for myself, because for his namesake. If a sheep is bleeding and injured, who will be painful? A shepherd. He will be grieving. He will be so hurt if his sheep is attacked. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to, you know, lose his own sheep. He doesn't want. When he bring the sheep from outside and in the inside the sheep pen, he want to protect them. He want to bless them. He want to guide them. If any of the sheep is, you know, damaged, there is another scripture say Jesus looking for one lost sheep. Do you understand? Ninety nine sheep is okay, but he left them. He looking for one sheep. This is a heart of a shepherd, this heart of God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We recognize that you are uh, our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be known. Father, we thank you. David, he knows his relationship between God and himself. God is his shepherd. His, his job was a shepherd to feeding the sheep, <coughs> protect the sheep, guiding the sheep. But he recognized that God is my shepherd. And then, Lord, we recognize you. You are my shepherd. I know. You, you look after me. You look after us. You will guide us. You will protect us. You will be with us. And then David claimed, Surely, goodness and love follow me all the days of my life. I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and more. Father, we know that. As you dwell in the presence of God, the goodness and love will follow us all the days of our life. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.